morning folks, my name's Tim Box and you join me here this morning at Cudmore Fisheries in Staffordshire. As some of you are already aware, I've recently started under the banner at PB Products. Now, they do a lot of different components that I haven't used before uh, based on different companies, so I want to come to a high stocked venue and get my head around some of the gear. Here at Cudmore, they've got 11 lakes I think it is, um, three specimen lakes and the rest is based around match fishing. So I've had a good walk around this morning and we've chosen a lake called Adelaide. As I've said, this is one of the specimen lakes and it's highly stocked. He says, Frank's told me it's about 2,000 fish in here. Done a couple of laps of the lake already. Spent about an hour looking around, having a good mooch, seeing if I can find some fish. I think I've settled on a swim to start off with. So now I'm going to load the barry and get the kit across to the swim and see what can happen. If need to, we'll move later on, but for now we'll go from there. Folks, welcome back. You join me on my chosen swim on Adelaide at Cudmore Fisheries. I've had a good lead about and I've found some larker looking spots. Um, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you through a couple of the rigs that I like to use in this situation. And if you've watched me previous videos, you'll notice that I don't, I don't like to mess about with all these components on different rigs. I like to keep things simple. So without further ado, I'll show you what I'm going to throw out there now. Looking at the range from PB products, I felt for me personally that the best options was the jelly wire and the silk wire. So with the jelly wire, I've opted for the £15 like I previously mentioned and I've tied that to a size 4 KD. I've stripped about an inch and a half back just that allows that little bit of movement if the fish decides to pick it up. And over to the silk wire, which comes in £20 only, I've opted for a slip D presentation. And because of how supple this material is, I like to pull this rig through a PVA mesh bag, which just prevents any tangles on the cast and you know you're fishing effectively. So those are the products I've opted for on this occasion. I'm going to get them paired out now, put some bait over the top and see what happens. That didn't take long, been in here about half hour, if that, had one run, that came off, and this is the second one. Only a small one I think, it looks like a koi as well, I think. This is interesting, just a baby though, I think this is the one on the silk way. I can't remember if I'm honest. Right then, 
first fish of the session, something a little bit different for me. Um, not the biggest fish in the world, but definitely a looker. This one came to the slip D. Who called was phenomenal, straight in the bottom lip, which is proof in the pudding as far as I'm concerned. Slide this one back, see what we can do next. Oh God! <laughs> This is the slip D again. Silk Y does seem to be doing the trick. Um, anti eject hook, size 4. Even the cat seemed to like it. <laughs> Simply giving this uh, control line a run for its money. She's unreal, this is. <laughs> Good God. I can't. I don't put much more strain on it. Good God. It's doing whatever it wants, this is. Hopefully it'll tie you out. Certainly some good sport. Seen it a couple of times, took its tail out, so it's definitely a cat. It's a decent one by all looks of it as well. That line thing singing like a good. Come on. I think we might be getting somewhere now. Spoke too soon, didn't I? <laughs> Big dirty moggy. Oh, that is a good one. Here we go again. <laughs> Sounding like John Wilson, then, didn't I? <laughs> Bless his soul. Every time I think I gain a bit, he does one. Jesus Christ. Come on. Have you? Well, this is the best fight I've had on rod and line for a long time. Come on, come to Boxy. Come to Boxy. Go ahead in. No, <laughs> almost. He's ready, I think. Just so bloody awkward, aren't he? the one. Can't I get him in? It's too big. <laughs> He's in, isn't he? Yes! Come on! <laughs> Your little twiggy arms are aching off. <laughs> Look at that! Yes, well that's proof in the pudding in the gear lads, isn't it? Hey? Right, I need a rest now for five minutes. <laughs> Thank you.
to it. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if that isn't testing the gear, I don't know what is. <sighs> right, folks. I set out first thing this morning with the intention of coming on here to put the PB products gear through its paces. Little did I know, I was going to look into one of these beasts. £52.8, using 18 pound control mono on the slip D-Reg I showed you earlier. If that isn't testament to the gear, I don't know what is. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Right, morning folks, had a very, very busy night last night, all on the same tactics that I showed you yesterday, this is probably better one of the bunch really, nothing massive, but my target today is to try and get one of the 20s that are in here, I'm very pleased with the components I've been using so far, it's more than exceeded my expectations, and I think that catfish that we had yesterday just proved that, the fish seem to be responding to the bait very well. So I think it is just a numbers game to be honest. So I'm going to get plenty more bait there out on my chosen spots and hopefully we can trip up one of the better ones. Okay folks, since that last fish you've seen this morning, it seems as though the rest of them have done the off and we've struggled to get a bite. But I can't complain really. I've come here to do a job and as far as I'm concerned, I've completed it. I wanted to put the gear through the paces and with that cat and the other fish that I've caught, I'm 100% confident in the future that I can do the same again. Until next time, I'll see you later.